Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a fabulous day. So today I have a little guest here with me for today's video. Today's video is all about Arlo's four month update and it is crazy that he is already four months it's insanity, like time is flying by so fast. But today I'm gonna be talking to you guys just about how he's doing, milestones he's hit, what it's been like having two crazy kids, what his personality is like, um, all of that good stuff. So he is 17 weeks old, I think now, um, but he turns four months on Friday of this week. So when this video goes live, he turns four months officially tomorrow, but he's like 17 and a half weeks old. He is just like the biggest little squish. I mean, maybe not the biggest, but he is just the funnest little squish like I feel like at this age at four months is when they start to be just so like squishy and fun and cuddly he's like get off me mom <laughs> but this guy is such a character like his personality is so funny he's such a serious little dude he's very into whatever is on the ground I'm gonna lay him down but I'll insert like lots of clips and videos and pictures and you guys know I love to document everything in my life so I will insert lots of like pictures and videos and everything this whole video too but he he is just so much fun. I'm not gonna lie, it's been challenging. He is definitely more of an emotional baby. I did do that whole video on colic. Um, he has some lungs on him, that is for sure. He is more of a serious baby than his older brother, which is fine, um, but it's so funny. So when I was like kind of prepping to do this video, I pulled up Christian's four month update from two years ago because I just was curious like some of the topics I covered. And it's so funny now being a second time parent because all of the things that I could see in that four month video come out in that in my older son um, are still like so prevalent in who he is as a toddler and like a big kid too. So it's funny because it's just so funny how their personality really starts to shine around this time. And it was also interesting watching that because he is so different than Arlo. So, okay, I gotta get my list out because otherwise I'm just gonna ramble and get so sidetracked for you guys. Okay, so first let me talk about milestones. So he started rolling pretty early. He rolled for the first time at three months months and then around three and a half months is when he started rolling like completely so he could he did his first roll at three months and then a couple weeks later he really started to like go faster and do it quicker and um, he's done a full complete roll where he's rolled from his back to his belly and then back over to his back the other way so he can do a complete roll and he's very much in the stage of like if we put him on his back and we look away when we look back, he's on his belly. Like, he's so fast. He just rolls like that. He loves it. He loves to be on his belly. I'm glad that he can hold his head up now, and he's super, I mean, he can hold his head up, and, like, he even pushes himself up and does, like, a little, what is it? cobra pose he, like is so good at it he's always had really strong like neck strength and he's um since he was a newborn but he started pushing himself up and like pushing his head up and holding his head up pretty early so he naps on his belly and everything and um i don't have any concerns with that because he's so strong but at first he would always want to nap on his belly and we'd have to flip him back over because he just would like sleep so well on his stomach but obviously we didn't want to let him sleep on his stomach until he was fully ready to so anyways he can fully roll he's like super strong in that area um he's laughing a little bit slower than christian did so it's so funny having two now because Christian laughed really, not really early, but Christian laughed earlier than Arlo, but he rolled later. And for Arlo, he rolled first, and now his laugh is like developing. Kids are just all so different. Like I feel like in all my videos, I'm always preaching how every baby's different. And now that I have two babies and I have two, I have two that have gone through all these stages, I can really see how, oh yeah, they are completely their own people. He is laughing. He started laughing around 16 weeks, but so like last week. Um, but he laughed for he laughed for the first time at 16 weeks, but it's like he's not laughing all the time quite yet It's like something has to really make him happy like really crack him up for him to do it <laughs> He's got kind of like this chuckle that is still he's getting so excited 
listening to me talk but he's got like this little chuckle that is still developing he's starting to have like a really silly personality so I talked in my colic video about obviously how he had colic he just was a more like more stressed like more irritated baby and he still has sensitivities to foods if I like slip up or if I indulge a little bit he will let me know but overall he's becoming like such a sweet little silly guy like he's got like this jolly old man personality he's like super serious and known for his side eye but then he like gets this silly little laugh and likes to play games with us and like he has this really big like gummy wide smile that he does because he's still figuring out like how to be happy after so many months of being pissed all the time um and so he does like a super big smile and he screeches a lot like he is not uh, not talkative and so when I was watching my four month video with Christian I for completely forgot that like even as a little baby like this Christian would like babble a lot which makes sense because he's such a talkative chatty kid but with Arlo he doesn't do that quite yet but he does like he'll moan and like make noises when he's nursing he screeches like he squeals from excitement and from happiness <laughs> so pterodactyl he squeals a lot like a little piggy it's like the cutest thing wow <laughs> um, I didn't even realize that was like a thing with babies squealing, but he does it so much. Um, he is also chewing a ton. He chews like everything. He drools a ton. Like I will not be surprised if he starts teething kind of early because he's been drooling for a while and he has been chewing everything for a few weeks now but it's like he loves chew toys and teethers and he likes chewing my hands and like he's trying to chew my hand right now as it's just like brushing by him um but he chomps everything it seems like his gums are kind of irritating him so look at him like sticking his finger in my mouth so or sticking my finger in his mouth so he likes to chew a lot um but so far hasn't seemed like emotionally bothered from teething or anything just yet. He goes next week to the doctors for his four month appointment. So I'll know more. I actually meant, shoot, I meant to have Jordan weigh him, measure him before I filmed this video and I forgot. So I will insert here what he weighs and we're just gonna like weigh him and measure him at home and then we'll get the official stats from the pediatrician next week when he goes. But he is definitely becoming a plump little chunky boy. He loves to eat. He is a very good eater. He's very efficient and eats quickly and eats a lot, but then he likes to just like hang out there and like play on my nipple. And he thinks like biting my nipple is like, like I'm talking about him chomping, he does it to my nipple. And he thinks it's like playtime. He grips my hair very strong. He has a very, very strong grip. I showed on Instagram one day that he was holding his hands like this. He likes to lace his fingers and he was like gripping his own hands so tight that he was cutting off circulation to his finger. I was like, dude. So we gotta watch him because his grip is so tight that he'll do that or he'll grab my hair and like really yank it and you know, that's not good. And before you guys mention hair tourniquet, tourniquet, however you pronounce it, I know that's a thing, we're keeping an eye on that too. If you don't know what it is, I'll put the phrase for it in the description so that you can check it out. But basically, hair can get like wrapped up in a baby's finger, which is not good. So we definitely keep an eye on that as well. So in terms of sleeping, he's still sleeping in our room. Um, it's funny, that's another difference between him and his brother. And it's not like I'm trying to compare them. It's just, I'm a mom and I've only, I've done this once before and it was so different than my experience now. So like, I can't help but think in my head to the experience I had before versus what I had now. But he, um, with my older son, Christian, we moved him into his own crib much earlier. With Arlo, he's still sleeping in our room. Um, he's just like a little more clingy, you know? He 
likes to, and I'm clingy with him. I, and I know four months is like not late to have them in the room either. Like we're not in a rush really. We're just sort of feeling it out what feels right. But right now we all sleep good with him in there and he's sleeping good. But whenever the time comes to move him over to his own room, this is his crib and he'll share a room with his brother. But right now he's still sleeping with us. And then in terms of naps, he takes three naps a day. I'm not gonna lie. I don't really feel like I have him on any kind of schedule right now and I think that's a good and a bad thing. I think personally as I become, you know, a parent for the second time and as I become more comfortable in my own parenting, I just don't stress schedules quite as much because I kind of feel like every baby does what they need to do and we do what we need to do with that baby. But that being said, he does take three naps a day and he kind of gets himself there at the same time every single day. So he naps at like 8.30 in the morning, he naps around noon and he naps at like 2.30 or three. And it's like kind of clockwork right now. So that's sort of his schedule right now. He goes to sleep around eight o'clock, 8.30ish every day. But I mean, I'm not stressing it. If it gets to be noon and he's not asleep yet, I'm not like, frazzled about it. That's just my style. And then in terms of Christian, his brother, he loves his brother. He, it's so fun seeing Arlo become more aware of his surroundings. He loves to look around. He loves, like, he'll lock eyes with Christian or like watch Christian and just be in awe of him. He's smiling really big. He's just staring at him. You can tell he really admires him and like he knows and Christian loves him. Christian knows that's his brother. I mean, he, from the second Arlo popped out, he knew that was his brother he talks a lot about his brother and um, their bond watching them become really bonded is just like the coolest thing I'm absolutely loving it now that Christian or now that Arlo I get their names confused a lot though but now that Arlo is for months, we've been putting him in his activity center, which is actually a hand-me-down from Christian. Christian used that all the time. And so we've been putting Arlo in it, and um, it's really cool because Christian will come up and like play with the toys on the outside standing while Arlo sits in the activity center and plays with them. And that's their first way of playing together. And every time they do it, it like, I can like feel my heart warming literally it is just the coolest thing to watch it's so fun seeing them play with one another and interact with one another in that way um and arlo is really good in the activity center like when we put him up he really enjoyed sitting up that way but he just immediately went to the toys and he likes to play with them and he likes to throw his hands on them he's very good with his motor skills and with like interacting in that way so i have a feeling he's gonna be like an intelligent kid and like he's i mean obviously i'm his mom so obviously i'm gonna say he's gonna be intelligent but i have a feeling he's gonna be like developing quickly like um just because with his motor skills in that way and with the way he does tummy time and like tries to move already this kid you guys, I'm gonna have my hands so full with these two crazy boys the older they get. Cause Christian is already super wild and Arlo's like already trying to crawl sometimes. He like gets on his belly and he pulls his hands and he like kicks his feet. And I feel like as soon as he's strong enough, he's gonna try crawling. Cause he will roll like a fiend right now. Like there's nothing stopping him and he's just ready to move. Like I wish you guys, I'm gonna take a picture cause he's so comfy. But even him laying here right now, he's like, trying to like kick his feet and I don't know. He's always trying to go somewhere. He is starting to get like the chunkiness in his thighs too. Like his thighs are just like squishy and chunky. And I just like, I love him so much. He is, it is the coolest thing having another little human being to love and to raise. And I feel like it's going by even faster the second time. Like I feel like we just brought him home. And so the fact that he's already four months old is insanity to me he is he just is growing up so fast but it's also like i feel like with my first i was so every milestone or every month i was like oh my god i can't believe he's five months old and now i'm like okay this is so much fun i can actually enjoy it more because i know that it's just like getting better and better and better i forgot to mention with the schedules too sorry i'm kind of all over the place right now but i forgot to mention with the schedules too i think Part of it is like me not stressing schedules as much this time around, but part of it is honestly with having Christian at home all the time, Jordan home all the time, quarantine, like not being able to go anywhere we want or keep structure in our day, it's made it hard for me to mentally 
get structure for the kids and I, I mean everybody's feeling it right now we just kind of feel like we are in chaos so I think that's part of why I don't feel like he's on as much of a structured routine um, as maybe I would like or maybe other parents do I don't really know but I feel like we're getting in a good groove of like sleeping schedules and eating schedules and everything so I'm not worried about it also in terms of eating schedule he's, he's still nursing like every <laughs> three or four hours or so I just kind of feed him on demand so whenever he's hungry I feed him and some days that is like every hour and some days he'll give us longer stretches but I just sort of go with what he needs and I don't feel like he's overeating or anything and he's always weighed healthy at the doctors and everything but he's just like he's it's so fun it's so fun having two very different personalities like he is definitely his own person and having him get to this point of having his own personality and like really showing that to us it's i was telling jordan the other day it's made me realize that like you know when you have two boys and you always hear people telling you that they want you to have a girl it i've talked before about how that can like it can rub me the wrong way and just feel like I don't know I'm just sort of like well what about my boys I love them they're perfect you know and like for example the other day I told someone I had two boys and we weren't even talking about a third kid we weren't even talking about me wanting a girl or anything we were just talking about the fact that I had two boys and um, she was like well I hope one day you get your girl and for me, I was like, what about my boys though? I just had a baby, not even, this was like three months. Like I was like, I just had a baby three months ago. What about him? So the reason I share this is because having two boys, like, and now seeing their personalities come out and seeing how just like, they're so still their own person, you know? And I think that's something that like, in this space of having babies and being, and pregnancies and stuff, I think that gets like lost people lose sight of that but the fact is like he is very much his own person and yeah you have siblings who are really similar too um but it's just like it's so cool watching it's not like I have a little Christian clone I have Arlo who is his own person you know I don't know I just felt like that was worth sharing because that's something that had been popping up on my mind lately he's come out of the colicky phase I feel like we're in a really good spot there as long as I get my diet under control and I don't eat anything he wouldn't approve of um, then he's good if I have like a bun or I have a little bit of cheese or anything like that it will set him off so I'm still limiting my diet which is totally fine I'm actually kind of enjoying it at this point because having a really uh, strict diet has made me more creative in the kitchen <laughs> and I've been cooking at home more um, and just like getting creative with recipes in a way I wasn't before before it was like in and out multiple times a week I do miss in and out though. He, other than that, he is like just a very happy, turning into a very happy, like silly, rambunctious little kid. Um, and he is like such a mama's boy. I think he's definitely going to be like the clingy little brother that is, like I always tell Jordan, Christian is going to be the kid that like Friday night, Christian is out with his friends. He's like, he's like going to the football game and partying with friends. And Arlo's going to be like at home with mom, having dinner with us, maybe getting a head start on his homework <laughs> like st and Jordan's like don't say that and I'm always like I don't know I that's like how I see his personality he's like just the sweetest little mama's boy I absolutely love it he's also going very bald so he has lost like all his hair he didn't have a ton of hair he had hair when he was born but he's lost like all of almost all of it so he has like just this little patch on top and it always reminds me of that scene in the heartbreak kid where he's saying he grew out his bangs for his wife no why I want to make her happy so I grew out the bangs like that's Arlo for sure hey hi <laughs> so that's it for today's four month update thank you so much for watching if you have any other questions or anything that you're curious about that i didn't cover with him or with anything <laughs> leave me a comment down below see this hair situation this boy is like his grip and his love for pulling my hairs on another level and i can always answer something in a future vlog or something too so so thank you so much for watching thanks for taking an interest in my little bubba man here all right i think he's ready to go eat so i'll see you guys in my next video thanks for watching bye there goes those chunky legs